Why haven't you been on Taskmaster yet? <laughs> you play golf with the bloke from it. What's going um, on? Uh, I mean, you pro- the thing is, I asked this question and they're already filming like two or three series ahead and I don't know who's in it. And so often, like, Dara O'Brien was like the week before the announcement was on the podcast going, yeah, I live, you know, I live just down the road from the house and I've, what's going on? I've never been asked on and he already filmed this whole thing. So. Um, no, I've not, I've not filmed no. or been asked to be on Taskmaster. I was close one year, apparently, yeah. but um, I don't know. Uh, you've got to pick your battles. Uh, I uh, don't get asked to do a lot of telly stuff. <laughs> Yeah. But and I can either let that get to me and stress me out and make me feel bad about myself, or I can think, John, you've got a radio show, you've got podcasts that people really like, you sell really well when you do stand up, people like your stand up, you've got a YouTube golf channel with someone who really should be part of the decision making process <laughs> of Taskmaster. But it's like, why is suddenly there's always going to be something you can use to fucking get pissed off about? Am I going to define my life by whether I'm on Taskmaster? Not, yeah. No. You should define it whether you've been on it and whether you've won your series and then won the Champion of Champions. That's how you've got to define yourself. And then um, the Champion of Champion of Champions. That's how I'm going to define myself. But how did you get on Taskmaster then? How did I get on it? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I kind of went on about it a lot until they put me on. And, and did your agent help with that at all? <laughs> I guess, maybe. Yeah, so we, we, have, we are in a slightly different... <laughs> comedic infrastructure one that you can exert a little bit more influence over and I'm glad you did because I think you I were fantastic I, again, on it I, I don't get onto many of those things so you know it is I yeah. think it is um, but I'm not going to suddenly start defining my success by whether I'm on one programme because if you get on that one then there'll be another one and you'll be like oh god now I feel terrible about myself again because everyone's asking me I mean the one thing I would ask if people could stop messaging me to ask me why I'm not on Taskmaster, <laughs> and every time Taskmaster announce a lineup, as much as I appreciate being in people's thoughts, not atting me into the tweet going, why no John Robbins and LSJ? I mean, just, is, is, if it's up to me, I'd have put myself in season one, I'd have also been the host. <laughs> it's not up to me. I am very thankful for the things must, I do th- do. There must be some crum- comfort in the fact that Ellis hasn't done it either. So when there Ellis will come it, a day. <laughs> <laughs> and I suspect that day is not far away <laughs> when Ellis will be asked to do Taskmaster yeah. and I will burst into flames. <laughs> you got a very nice... He got one. asked to do Pointless? Uh, yeah. Comedian double acts <laughs> episode of Pointless. Comedian double acts, yeah. Ellis and Ivo Graham. <laughs> as, a, as a man he has never appeared with on anything... And it wasn't like they wanted to have a diverse lineup, which I could have <laughs> two fucking white guys. That I was livid about because it made no sense. Ellis and I have since filmed Pointless together. Okay, good. Which kind of is like, it's not like it was, I, I love Ivo, he's a personal friend. I think he's one of the best comedians in the country. But it's not like it was Ellis and Eddie Izzard. <laughs> it's like we're all the same gang. I don't, He's got... It's Ellis and John! It's the name! It's, how thick are you? Or, could be the case, who have I pissed off? Because I might have pissed off someone involved with the booking process at some point. Yeah. But I don't think I have, because I think I'm quite a nice person. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I think comedians all get into this. I certainly get into that. I think, you know, what did I do? What did I, it took me so long to get onto anything else on TV. And, you know, and apart from that, I did have a show, but then that finished. And I, well, did I do something really wrong? And, you know, so you do start thinking those things. I think it's just that there's, you know, there's so many people that could be, and the people making the decisions aren't always the smartest people in the world. But it's not to say they've made the, you know, they're wrong. It's just... I've never felt, you know, I've done t- TV and I will do more TV and I quite like the TV, some of the TV I've done and other bits I've not liked as much, but I just, it's just one of the, that was the most awkward oh. water pouring I've ever seen. <laughs> Thought I'd do something visual for the crowd. <laughs> but, you know, it's never been like a done deal. With, yeah. Between me and TV, it's never been an easy process. There always been sort of it's that you have to make a case for it. With other people, that journey is slightly easier. But I've got you know, I've, I enjoy what I do, and I think I'm good at what I do. So I don't need to like suddenly think if I'm not doing everything, I'm bad or I failed or <laughs> you know, I've got past that concern. Are you, are you sure? 
Do you know, I, I am. I really am. Um, 